How's it going, folks? What about you? I realised I haven't uh, done a pawn build video in, in quite some time. Well, a few weeks anyway, to let you know what's going on. You see I've got the decking down. The guys from the guys that built the pond, Morgan Ashton, they come back and did the decking for me. And same as the pond, they've done an absolutely fantastic job. I love it. It gives me a bit of space that I can walk on and keeps the mud out of the house so Lady Decoy is a little bit happier. I've got a few jobs that I want to get on and do today. I mean, I've got the filters in there all running. Still running on extension leads, for goodness sake. Uh, still waiting on me, me Sparky to get the time to come and come and bang everything in for me. So the sooner he can do that, the better. Steve, if you're watching, pull your finger out, lad. But uh, yeah, drums working well. I do find there is a little bit of fines in the pond now and again, but I can see that the algae's coming on and the fish are pulling that off. So I guess that's to be expected until until things mature a bit. I mean, on the on the topic of maturing a bit, we did have a fair bit of new pond syndrome here. Um, the, the parameters did, did spike massively. Um, but with that big bio unit that I've got running in there, as soon as I got that installed, it was literally only a, a couple of weeks and it got things back in order. You can see the pond's definitely a lot clearer and did did some water tests through the week and everything is, is now hunky-dory. The, the, the water's in tip-top shape. So I think the new pond syndrome didn't hit us that hard because I actually left it running for three weeks empty. I know it was only going through the skimmer line and through the sea to sieve, but it was letting the water in the pond mature a bit and everything was bottle green. As I say, when we when we got back from holiday, so there is a couple of things I want to get on and do. I mean, we we'll spend all that money on self-cleaning filtration so that we don't have to come out here and, and clean the filters a couple of times a week, and then we fit a couple of windows, and it appears I spend more time cleaning these things than I ever did cleaning any filters. So, I mean, you can see from last time I attempted to clean the windows, I obviously missed a massive patch. Gonna crack on and get the windows cleaned. And then I'll think about the next job that I've got to do. I am toying with the idea of putting me old uh, auto feeder back up. I was gonna treat myself to a new one. One of them uh, JBL, J, you know the type anyway, that flicks it across the, the surface of the pond. But I don't know, I'm in two minds because I've heard they are quite noisy. And to be honest with the amount of flow that I'm running in here, as soon as the food hits the surface, it's gone. The flow spreads it like mad anyway, so. I think I might just get on and put the old one up for this season. I mean, no major hurry. We dropped the 16 degrees in here last night. It was pretty cold. And uh, lazy sod. Enjoying the sun, love? It's getting old now, ain't you, kid? But, um, yeah, rambling. Where was I? Yeah, 16 degrees last night. It's back up to 17 now, ambient. I did manage to sell me old Remora air source heat pump, that's gone. And I have secured myself a Thermatec 12 kilowatt inverter. Went to pick one up from a fellow hobbyist. And um, yeah, he's gone from a 6,000 gallon pond to an 8,000 gallon pond. To be fair, I wish I'd have, I wish I'd have whipped my camera out and did some filming when I was over there, but it's just one of them things when you're at someone's house you don't really like to ask. But his pond is absolutely stunning, running two four-inch bottom drains, same as this, and that goes into two individual drums, and then up over a shower bio unit with a backy house media and K1 chamber underneath. Pretty similar to what I'm running in there, but... 
yeah, really good setup, really nice pond, and I managed to secure myself a, a 12 kilowatt Thermatec and inverter heat pump for a really good price. So it's currently in the back of my van, which Lady Decoy is traveling around in at the minute. Uh, the reason that it's still in the van is it's absolutely huge and I'll be unable to lift it out on my own so I'll uh, I'll get that grabbed out and get it plumbed in one one day this week. But we're getting there slowly but surely. Things are coming together. I just need to get on and get the rest of the garden done. I'm gonna have nice gravel back there, raised flower bed at the back. I'm gonna have to sort the raised flower bed first because it kind of dictates the height. The air source heat pump is gonna dictate the height of that bed. So, yeah, plenty to do. As you can see, the, the flow kind of disperses it well across the pond. So I don't think it would matter if I just plunk the, the superficial auto feeder here. The flow spread, spreads the food pretty well. I did bodge my little uh, auto feeder on this afternoon just to give me a bit of consistency with the feeding. I know we're down at 17 degrees in the pond at the minute, but I, I wanted a bit of consistency. So we're on four feeds a day, 40 grams a hit, and uh, that'll keep them going until I get this air source heat pump back on and get the temperatures ramped up and get the feed ramped up. So I got Lady Decoy to give me a lift with the air source heat pump out of the van. Happy days. Bless her, she did struggle, but she's a trooper, hell of a fighter. The size of it, the thing's bloody massive. It did come with the extension on the uh, on the control panel, so I can run that inside inside the building. Also, had to order myself a new microscope. Not sure. Not sure if I told you guys whenever I was plumbing in my bio chamber in there, I. Uh, didn't glue one of the pipe joints and absolutely flooded the place. I actually did that twice because I'm an absolute idiot. And while I was squeegeeing up the floor to, to clean up the mess that it made, I knocked my other microscope off the bench and smashed it. And then I just completely lost my head and bounced it off the back of the house in bad temper. So it was absolutely destroyed. So I did have to go and invest in a, in a new one of those, which turned up today. Hopefully I won't need it. Nothing too fancy, just uh, just a decent microscope, it's just a tool at the end of the day and don't really use it that often, so only when required. I just wanted to say, uh, before I shoot on, massive thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. We rolled over 3,000 3, subscribers, I think, the other week, which is an absolute massive milestone. So I really appreciate everyone that's managed to hit the button. I think 70% of the people that watch the content aren't actually subscribed, so come on guys, join the party. Like, subscribe, share, and anyway, catch you in the next one. Take it easy.